आई स्ट्रॉन्गली बिलीव की टिल द टाइम यूर डेयर यू यू शुड जस्ट गो आउट डेयर इन बिलीव इन योर सेल्फ एंड जस्ट डू वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू डू uh and uh, you know they they really made me feel like um, uh, you know like at home and everyone was there for me because i was all uh, like it was just my third film it is chapena nen chapena niku chapena and on today's episode of say what for club board with manasa i have somebody i think i met her some 3 and a half 4 years ago and i was charmed really? when i met her to earth and this interview has been long due somebody who is so talented and ever so gorgeous and ever so bubbly and that is mercy married but zada for you mary you know welcome welcome to say watch with mansa how are you doing all good you tell me how are you <laughs> Oh I'm doing God. good. I, I keep meeting you. You, you really like. I feel so elated right now after everything that you spoke said about me. <laughs> Thank you so much. You deserve more. You deserve more because I remember the first time I met you. It was at a marathon. I was hosting the marathon, and you were the chief guest. And I was like, she's so sweet. She's so beautiful. She's so sweet. She's the star here, and you were like talking to everybody so nicely. I became your fan then, Oti. Trust me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> But tell me, how have you been coping with the lockdown? And I see on Insta you are doing a little bit of DIYs and all of that. How has your lockdown been? You know what? I was kind of like now literally waiting for work to begin because I think like uh yeah, this is the truth. I wanted some break because you know I I'm a workaholic and I have been working continuously since like so many years. That's what which has been great. So I was like, oh, I need some time at home. But then I think like this is like what six months at home, and now I'm like, oh God, like I need to really like get back to work because I think uh, this is like uh, I think overdose हो गया. Like I'm like. <laughs> yeah but then i think obviously in the in in times like these like you realize a lot of things like about every you know what yes. you actually need and what you don't and you know all the like i think like this is more about just mind body and soul and you know just being True. in one place and then you can like survive through anything this has been my learning uh, experience not that i didn't uh, believe in it earlier but uh, i think it's just made it a lot more stronger you know what i always thought in yeah. yeah it's been like that with us also but do you do something new during the lockdown did you try anything new uh yeah just like everyone else like how people uh, started cooking became better cooks so i definitely uh yes i did i started finally entering the kitchen and you know trying my uh, hand at a uh, couple of dishes and things and all that other than that yeah just been working out and now yeah um we uh, we just got our cycles like uh, about 2 weeks ago and have been cycling quite regularly me and my brother so which is quite quite nice and it's pretty therapeutic because otherwise you don't really go out like we're not stepping out uh, unless like uh, it's like absolute necessary but uh, other than that yeah like we go on really early morning or like at like like night you know after the traffic is not there like with our friends cycling and all that which is really good like i feel like i feel energized after doing that and then yeah watched couple of shows so abhi like uh, as of now like if you ask me i think i'm done i'm done with everything possible and i'm like oh my god i'm waiting to get back to work <laughs> i know i know the feeling but you know i was hanging out with an actress recently and we were deciding to go out and i was like how can you go to ikea just like that won't you get mobbed she's like what are you saying i'll just put on a mask and go and has it been the same with you you know i mean have you been using the mask to your advantage just to step out in- have a normal time uh, frankly i have not really been stepping out because you know uh, yeah, you know our mom lives with us and then so it's uh, it's not only about your own health but it's like putting True. at risk like with every not 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 uh, i won't uh, this thing deny that yeah uh, we, we we went traveling but it it has been like absolutely you know like in the places that where you know that you know that it is going to be really safe and you know only people there because you know see you can't trust anybody else you can only trust yourself like in terms of how much you've stepped out and just been careful and all that so touch wood like till now like god has been kind and everything in terms of that you know uh that's really but yeah and i but, but right now it's it's i think but but yeah now like it's like everyone that you know the closest of the closest people they are kind of like the reports are coming positive which is really scary yeah. at this moment So I am true. getting 
anxiety since past couple of days i know what you mean i know what you mean but i, I don't know if, if someone doesn't know that if you are from batinda but i want to tell them i'm sure a lot of people know it's like it's like how much of batinda i'm sure they do can- because i keep announcing <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a, a lot. I think I think I'm made up of like uh, made up uh, like Batinda is like inbuilt. Like it's just in imbibed like thoroughly in like, in me. Like there is like no doubt about, about that. <laughs> uh, definitely, Sikhni who my Batinda ki there is no doubt that was just a film dialogue. But then trust me, like when the film released, it was like I was like oh my god, this is so me and everything. I'm sure like any other girl who is from Batinda, you know that 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 the. enthusiasm and all that like that's what i am made of so yeah like batinda like i announce it all the time that uh, that you know i feel really pl- proud like from the place that i belong to and then also uh, making it you know like uh, i i i want like especially like for girls to you know believe in their dreams and just like believe in themselves like more that they, even they can do it because you know coming from a batinda is not batinda is the oldest city it is a big city but it's not really like a metropolitan you know it's like yeah. a normal like a this thing and then i want people that oh if she can do this even we can do this like i want that wow. feeling inside especially like girls and look where you've reached i mean look at the journey and the graph and you started so early uh, tell me how young were you when you won your first you know pageant too young i think i know i think that was just a <laughs> fluke i would say i don't know how did that happen but then yeah, in my head i was always <laughs> missing <laughs> i am i am not kidding in my head i was always oh, i don't know why i missed universe and then uh, but uh, yeah when at the age of 10 and i was like oh my god you know i walked the ramp and like I, in my head i was i thought i was a shwarya rai walking on the <laughs> ramp but then now i look at the photos and i'm like oh my god like this was so silly of me So I think that yeah. happens with all of us. But then, like with everything, what I mean to say is, if you believe in yourself, the world is going to believe in you. As simple as so that. So was it there in your head, you know, because you won pageants in Canada also? But was it there that okay, movie industry is inevitable, you know, somewhere in some corner? Mm, not really. Like I, I was always a drama queen since childhood. Just like I think most of the girls, how they are, like everything. But then never really like thought that I want to get into acting per se or yeah. you know come to Bombay. That was never the plan. Like never even I think at the back of my head. Ha! Huh, in my head I was like, oh, I'm Miss Universe. That was another story altogether. <laughs> like in childhood, but in the grown-up years, which I know like all of us we really for girls, you know we are really. like we like barbie dolls we are into that oh pageant and oh it is you know that that is like any other girl like while growing up but never really like took it seriously i would say um it was i like i i'm a strong believer in destiny and i feel like everything that happens happens for the best and then you really don't know what god is preparing preparing you for and what he has in store for you so i think that has been the case with me like when even i like i got into like After at the age of ten, I won a pageant, and after that, never really had anything until I was what nineteen when I won another pageant in Canada. Like I was crowned as Miss Personality, and that's when all the offers started pouring in. And then, you know, I was like, okay, like you know, and because uh, life was that was the time that my life took a one eighty degree turn. When I was like, oh my God, that oh life, it's like when actually life happened to me was post school in two thousand twelve. and that's when i was like okay you know like um, uh, you know we have a certain this thing oh life is a bed of roses and you know everything but still then we are protected but when we actually are thrown into the real world after school that's when we realize you you meet different kinds of people from different background of uh, backgrounds and everything you have different experiences and then you're like oh my god okay like this is it like this is for the rest of your life and everything So uh, yeah, I think this has just been like God's plan, destiny, and then I have like kind of like walked on that path and like just believed in Him. I strongly, I'm a very strong believer, believer in the Almighty, and I think that uh, He is there to, He is looking out for me, and then everything. So yeah, and I give my best, and then rest, I just leave it on to Him. It's like literally, I jump in the well, and I'm like, okay, if this is, uh, if 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 this is unsafe for me, then please save me. Otherwise, you know, I I'm going to like you know swim. Like a pro, so I think that's what he's always been doing for me. No, but look at it. I mean, what a breakthrough! You got your first movie opposite Nani. You know, I mean, Krishna Gadi was was 
a complete entertainer and your role was so sassy you know yeah. i will never forget i will definitely make you say chapna you know chapana chapana no, 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 so it, cool it is it is chapana nen chapana niku chapana see i remember and you said it so awesomely you still do it was so cool tell me how yeah. was it because i'm sure there was a bit of a culture shock you came down to a different land altogether you know language different culture and you came and you took to it like fish to water what was krishnagadi like you know krishnagadi i think uh, i think that is what uh, what's the film like uh, i think i owe everything to that team that film everything uh, about krishnagadi vi prema gada because that is what has made me who i am today who i am going to become tomorrow i think this is going to go like i owe it to krishnagadi like till my you know i go into the grave that's how much that's how much it means to me because obviously that you know it's that first break through when you get and then you know when it is such a good one you've got such a good role such a good team everything uh you know and then obviously like it was different you know like uh, we weren't living in hotels we shot in anantpur in in extreme heat in may june and july which is like there was there used to be no light and and you know anantpur is rail sima area you know the way it is and even the like climatic conditions on top of that i'm a i'm a person who doesn't eat spices at all and then they eat so many spices which like i think probably i've not e- eaten in my whole life i've not seen also so obviously yeah. it was uh, challenging but then at the same time like i said that if you have a dream in front of you then i think everything else uh, you know uh, it's like side line and then you kind of like manage along with it i must be very honest with you i first saw you in philori and then we liked okay. you so much trust me my sister and i watched it together in bangalore we hadn't started seeing telugu movies yet i'm from bangalore basically and oh, and so okay. i didn't know that yeah i'm from bangalore so it's been four years in hyderabad now and we were like we have to see and then we went and saw krishna gadi you know it's like philori trust me for us you were the major attraction we were like oh god she is Thank so you. naturally she's so cute you just were perfect for that role you know i mean to get such a solid role that people still remember trust me everybody was intrigued as an audience i'm telling you my friends my family you know it's like did you notice her did you notice mary in mary in mary in it was like that for me and i'm not just saying that because you're here and and how how was philori for you you know i mean it was again a different role from krishna gadi again you know it was a completely different role and it It was a very subtle and real role for you, wasn't it? Yeah, Philori. Yeah, Philori was another, uh, you know, breakthrough. And then, you know, I'm so glad that even like it's been four, what, three years since the three and a half years since the film is released, it is still as fresh in everyone's minds. Like, you know, I go here. Of course, I've lost tons of weight. I will. I'm become half or one fourth the size what I was in Philori. But you know, people still recognize me. and you know they they still talk about my role which really like uh, i think i think if you're known with the work that you've done i think that's the best compliment that you can ever get or anything you know then right. like i'm happy that some of the people that know me they know me with the character name or the character that they related to they call me with that character they address me with that and they don't even know my real name which i'm perfectly okay with you know because I, it just shows the amount that you know they uh, they, they got they, they related to my character or got moved by it or anything but uh, so philori was a like a, you know a great experience obviously like working with you know everyone else like i was the baby on the set like i was just one film old, old. i had just finished uh, shooting for uh, for krishna gadi vid pe magada and it was yet to release and then i started shooting for philori immediately so it was like very overwhelming and everything and then got to learn so much from anushka and you know like the kind of person that she is and everything and then uh, they really guided me through it and everything so and you know obviously like it's something that i uh, you know till date like i'm close to the, my flory team like very much because you know they've treated me like a baby and then you they've always looked out for me even till today Are you superstitious in real life? I mean, do you do you believe in in any superstition? Uh, like what? I'm uh, not really actually. I kind of go no. with the flow, but yeah, it's something a little bit in terms of like I am a like uh my lucky number is five because my birth date is five. 
so i have that thing ki yeah. uh, certain numbers that oh no not that but, but then obviously you can't really like choose choose you know the, the, yeah, i don't believe in it so much but then if I, it's in my hands then i would just like to change it like certain things i alter them as per my number uh-huh. i i have a lucky dress <laughs> you know i want to be dressed to all times <laughs> oh oh wow i i know i have nothing of that sort i have never I, i especially in maths so i wish something would have worked i nothing worked literally i tried every damn thing for maths so i was like you know what jo hona hai hoga uh, like that i'm like very like cool with it ki jo hona hai wahi hoga i'm the kind of person if i have confusions in my head if i have anything that is troubling me then i just uh, leave it on to the almighty and then i just like pray to him to show me the right path uh-huh. and help me out so of it or like you know so just think of uh, flow through it you you make it sound so easy i'm sure that's not the case and you've done movies back to back the journey has been good but there must be you know something that you find challenging or you find difficult what is the most challenging thing for you you know about your journey or career whatever you find it i think i think life in itself is a very big challenge every day like uh, you think this is not a challenge like for a person like me and you we've been so busy always suddenly staying at home and not yeah. uh, you know like you can still take interviews like this but then for us like staying at home you can't shoot because yeah. you know film you need 24 crafts and if all each craft is very important for the film to you know whatever like shoot and you know so um every life in itself every day we face challenges and all that and it's not easy life is not easy like if it was easy and i i have strongly i am a strong believer ki the day you start thinking the life is easy like in the sense ki oh you understood life you got caught hold of it suddenly it'll just flip like this so you can't really you you can't underestimate life and you can't be you can't say you understood what life is like yeah. like i'm like we don't know what the next minute has in store for us or you know it is that um uh, uh like uh, like it's very um, i i can't find that uh, i can't recall that you know it's very fragile like you don't know yeah. it's it's very yeah. uh, you know unpredictable Uh, true, but true. then at the same time uh, the, the, whatever we have is everything we are made up of our choices our beliefs are everything i i strongly believe ki till the time you're there you you should just uh, go out there and believe in yourself and just do what you want to do and then rest you know uh, nobody knows i am a, i am also i really believe ki if something is supposed as a puddle if you broke your like in the sense ki you broke your leg while jumping into it maybe it was bad for you but then doesn't mean i'll have the same experience in it like maybe True. it'll be the best thing maybe i'll just learn to overcome my fears the moment i jump into it and i'll be like oh my god wow you know it's just a very yeah. bad example but i'm sure you understood like what i'm you know i know, I know. it's different yeah, yeah. yeah it's just different and you just need to just believe in the process i would say like the universe like it is go with like, the flow don't you you just go with the flow <laughs> i am like i'm it. very much i'm very much go with the flow person like i'm yeah. very much I, i'm the kind of person i listen to everyone uh yeah. to some extent okay oh they'll they'll confuse me for a bit but then i'm a person that who will ultimately make the choice what i want to do there is a, there is no there are no two ways about it like everyone knows uh-huh. that that i'll i'll do that's, what i want to do and what i believe in that's quite a revelation uh, today on that on this interview but i want to ask you this because because i have always been a huge fan of ravi teja you know and to act opposite him i'm sure is like an achievement and a task at the same time because his face keeps changing <laughs> so tell me what was it like reacting and acting you know with mr ravi teja you know it was really like lots of fun it was a blast shooting with ravi teja like and yeah. and and that too with the team like uh, raja the great of course like anil sir everyone like on the sets and everything uh and uh, you know they they really made me feel like um you know like at home and everyone was there for me because i was all uh, like it was just my third film so it was then yeah. ki i was a pro at you know everything and obviously you learn with like with each film and you learn uh, you know confidence and i learned a lot of things from ravi teja garu in the sense that he doesn't stop acting even when the director says cut 
that's something oh. i learned from him he doesn't leave yeah. his expression you know like how like with normally with the, what i used to do earlier until raja the great maybe i must be doing now also sometimes yeah. but uh, but i consciously try not to do it is what uh, once your dialogue is over and you know ki this scene is this much the, the shot is this much you'll only like be in that character for that amount usually yeah. but raviteja garu even after cut he still there and he told me he's like don't leave your expression hmm. maybe the director find something really good in that after when he said cut you don't yeah. know and then like his energy and you know like uh, uh, you know the way like he dances and his whole persona his and one thing like he's so he's very like particular about time which yeah. is like touch wood like i have already learned because of my uh, i have lived abroad and everything but then you know like uh, he's very much like taught he's like this time and you know his workout and i i learned so much about workout and diet from him on set and everything like i'm like uh, you know like because obviously like you know he follows his diet and that's why he is he looks the way he lo- still looks like that because he's just very careful about you know like very this thing even venkatesh sir for that matter venkatesh sir right. is the same you know like uh, i learned so much from him from in f2 like i feel like I think I owe so much of my performance to uh, uh, Venkatesh sir because uh, was, you know for him was, to make me feel so comfortable. I was going to come to F two next, you know, because your role was fire. You exploded in F two. My God, I mean, you know, I don't know you so well, so I don't really know if you are this, you know, fireball of energy or you shant calm. A lot of people don't know. We know you, you know, quite. Lovely and pleasant and you know vivacious, but in two minutes you exploded. Tell me how much of you you carried on to that role, or you had to completely step out of your comfort zone and do it too. And you I were sharing this of... again, like you said, with Venkatesh Garu and Varun Tej. What was it like? Tamanna, yeah. Uh, uh-huh. I think uh, I think a lot. Like, I think I am a lot like that person in uh, Honey. But then obviously I strongly believe it's very difficult to portray yourself on screen. what you mm. what is the real self like i'm sure you are very different when you're alone and when you're with people and then if someone says that in act the manasa that is at home to someone you might not be able to do it it is the most difficult job to be this thing so um mm. but i guess like that's what i think it's because of everyone around me and you know in my this thing and in my heart like this is like the best one of the really like best like good role that i you know uh, got and i was like ki this is something nobody expected out of me when everyone heard the narration i think there were a few people because obviously anil sir had worked with me in uh, raj the grace so anil sir had that faith that who oh, i'll be able to do it and everyone who had worked with me by then they knew oh, she is this person she'll be able to do it but the yeah. people who hadn't and who had not seen that in my performance because before that all my films they were they had emotional and you know a uh, um, like a normal girl next door uh, this thing but then f2 required a lot more it was completely yeah. different than whatever i had done till now uh, and it was my 10th film so all yeah. nine films every uh, that i had you know i had done and all that but yeah after watching the film a lot of people who had worked with me they were like oh my god you were you on screen and uh, like after pantham when i watched uh, worked again with uh, gobitan garu for uh, chanakya yeah. so uh, so uh, yeah and i think janakya was the next film that i started shooting for after yeah uh, after f2 i shot for two punjabi films and then i started shoot my janakya yeah correct the next telugu film so uh, so uh, gobitan garu goes like oh you know that that uh, that step that you did on the stage and all that like when we watched f2 oh my god i could relate that to you in pantham how you were because i'm not a great dancer dancer now theek hai like kaam chala in f2 i think is been the best that i've done in that oh, abroad prague song with yeah. tamanna because that was like because it was tamanna in front of me like i was like oh my god like you know you have to up your game little bit like at least like of course can be so she is a very 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 talented actress but at least thoda bahut she just uh, you know ki uh, you don't look stupid you know <laughs> in the oh. <laughs> so so i like i really and that is like tamanna really helped me like you know she treated me like a younger sister she really like helped me through it you know because she has been dancing since so many years and then obviously like i'm not really taken any um any professional training for it so she really helped me with the 
well, you know, with a very small uh, this thing or or how she uh, learns a step and all that really helped me, and you know, I could I could do what I did in F two. So there are like people who worked with me earlier when they watched F two. They were like, oh my god, this was you. Oh my god, this scene. Oh, uh, this this thing. And then I really loved when Gopichand Garu said that, and I was like, what? I was like, you you think I dance like that? The moonwalk. <laughs> and he's like, no, no. But I mean, when you learn, like you were like on point, you know, like that. So these are the things that you that make you really like okay you know fine that okay I'm like I'm glad that uh, everyone who didn't believe in me I proved them all wrong and then now they uh-huh. all believe in me also other people of course everyone who's worked with me they believed in me and that's why I was there in the project but everyone else you know who must have heard I know a lot of like people I heard that they they frankly after the film release they came up to me. and they were like uh, they were like oh we, we never thought that you'll be able to do this and we were like you know when we heard this we were like amazing oh, like really is this the right choice and then they were like you proved us wrong so i think that is the the, the thing that you know you should have that if someone think you can't do it then just give it your all and you know mm-hmm. and rest everything like it's you know for the audience audience is the biggest judge yeah. you you can't no, all you can no. do is your from your side but i'm so glad the audience took it so well you know True, 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 true. No, I I mean this word as a compliment, but you were like a patakka in that. You know, you just <laughs> were so so cool, man. I thank I love that. Thank you so much. I would yeah. like to call myself item bomb in that because I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I, in real life, I am in real life also. I am Hanni is the best. They say, na, in my head, I am Marine is the best. Of course, long way to go, but I still keep that in my mind. I am the best. So yeah. <laughs> I remember having this this conversation with Rashmi, with quite a few actresses, you know, Kajol also from Bollywood and Tollywood. What is the pressure of fitness like on actresses? You know, I think sometimes it gets toxic. And I was recently telling somebody, I can never do what you ladies do. It is so difficult because there is pressure of wanting to. I mean, not just wanting to supposed to look good all the time, supposed to be fit all the time. How do you cope with that? Um. I don't really take it as a pressure. Like being fit is something. I think it's a very like personal choice, and some people have a body type also. Like I would yeah. say, like um, uh, you know, like um, some people are naturally even if they don't work out. Like my my brother, yeah, he does work out a lot. But then even if he doesn't work out, he'll never gain weight. That is, you know, how it is. So, uh, but like 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 for me, like if I like it is a body type also. Like for me, I really need to be very careful. Otherwise, I like being fit because I was a very chubby kid. So I feel that that I need to. If there is something, there is scope of improvement. Then why not? It is not yeah. that you are doing it for anybody else. You have to do it for yourself. You know, yeah. um, it, it is just that yeah. Who doesn't like to look good and like to look fit, and like and who doesn't want? No, any normal person who doesn't want all the clothes to fit them, everything that they uh, wear, everything that they like, they can wear, you know, because it just suits them. So uh, I only work towards that. Yeah, it's not I, really like the pressure, pressure. Like in initially, yes, I I used to work out to lose weight, but now I work out because I enjoy working out. Like now there's a lot of difference, and that is the reason I've lost more weight. You know, like uh, you know, during F two, I was like, oh, you know, much like lighter and of uh, like fitter, and even in my other films and everything and all that. But then, yeah, I I feel I do have that body type a little bit also. I do uh, like get that. So now, yeah, that's all lockdown has been about. I'm like, okay, now you know, you have to just be like, just at it and just make sure that you know, you remain uh, in the best of your um, shape. Story of all our lives, but I am personally curious about one thing because I saw Sarah Thero. I'm I'm a huge fan of you know Arman Malik as well, and that's such a beautifully shot video. Who shot it? How did you manage to do this? You know, this is like work through lockdown. <laughs> um, uh, you know, it was. Uh, thank you so much. It was like uh, um, I Sarah Thero was. It came at a time when. Actually, it was proper lockdown and everything, and yeah. then I, I see. I consider myself really blessed because I know I'm one of those very few actors and actresses who got to actually work, and their piece of work came out and got so much love from people and everything. You know, uh, so 
so uh, which was like um, and uh, yeah like we shot it at home you know my living room here my room the terrace and all that and then arman shot it as at his house and it was like compiled in you know you saw zara thero but i like it is like amazing how they compiled it like thanks to t series the whole team uh, you know of zara thero like how it all like i did not i actually did not expect it to come out the way it did i was my own hair stylist my own makeup artist my own costume stylist everything you know like <laughs> This is the, like the first time, but I really enjoyed the whole process. Like it was really nice. It was that those few hours that uh, uh, shot Zara Thero. It was like uh, you know I I really and such a nice song and and I'm so glad that you know it is like still like uh, amongst the top chart busters and everything. Yes, and you look lovely. Who shot you? Your nice. brother, your mother? Who who did all the shooting? Yeah, so so basically, um, uh, we got the camera and then uh, you know uh, did the like shooting like with the this thing. So um, uh, basically, um, at home like uh, the the cinematographer came, uh, you oh. know, but in a like a in a PP kit and with the small camera, but there was yeah. no lighting, there were no nothing that they used. It was just natural light and all that. And the way he shot and everything like uh, you know everyone was scared also at that point of time. But then one thing was to show that we had been home and they were directly coming from their house, so it was not a this thing. So it was fine, like you know. But can you sing? Like, are you are you into singing? I'm not a singer, singer. No, I'm not really like a learn. But uh, okay, I'm not that bad. Also, I think. But then yeah, I'm I'm not like good as like how everyone should be. Like Rashi, Rashi really sings well, you know. She uh, uh-huh. of course, like she, I'm sure she's taken training for it and all that. But then uh, like. you know for me like i never really explored that side as yet but you never know <laughs> you, i'm not going to push you <laughs> because everything stays on internet forever so i'm not going to push you to think but i just wanted thanks. to ask you i love you <laughs> yeah yeah thanks for saying that it is so difficult to say no and then you also yeah, do, do. don't want like uh, you know you uh, like i'm the kind of person i'm like okay once i learn it properly then i'll do it Like you know, then I'm the kind of person. If I start, if I if I believe in it, oh, I have a good voice. I'll sing in a film also. Then, like I'm that kind of person. But then till then, till then, I'm like, okay, hold your horses. No, I don't want to push it because I don't want you singing and struggling to do that. Become a promo cut for some other video. Let's not Correct. do that. Absolutely, <laughs> bilkul, 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 bilkul. I agree. But I also want to ask you this. You know, I mean. I, I want to tell you something. Actually, somebody said something very sweet about you a month ago. Uh, Kaka was telling me this when we were talking. We were talking about sweet celebrities. We were just talking, and he told me an incident that uh, he had gotten a fan to you during one of the interviews. That there is a fan of yours who absolutely is crazy about you. You actually dropped the poor man somewhere. You know, I mean, you you were too sweet to him. He had to go somewhere. He said, "No, no, you can come sit in the car, and I'll drop you there and go." And Kaka was like, "She's so sweet. Can you believe it? There are some celebrities who actually do this." Do you remember? Once he Kaka told you. Once he Kaka told you. Wow, my God, he's such a good memory. Like I, I would like see these other things. You know, it's not something. I think it's just a part of my nature. There is nothing that you know. I want to be. Uh, see, uh, we are human beings. i i i'm sure that uh, you can you cannot be liked by everyone this is a fact yeah. you need to live with it all you can do it from your side is i feel whatever you think you want to be treated just treat the other person in that manner that's it rest everything it's right wrong they like you you do, they don't like you you should leave it on to them it shouldn't bother you that oh uh, because and also when you do something to be liked na it might not just come out in the best this thing like uh, like like you made me remind and i think it is probably now next time going to do some going to call kaka after this just ask him that was it this film that that this incident because i don't really like remember like that this thing it was just so i think it's a part of me that just like did it and i it is normal like and these are the things that you don't you shouldn't count also it shouldn't come in your mind yeah. that that you that you that you were doing this to be liked or for that person to become a bigger fan of you no just do it like you know if you feel like it you know if 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 you if your if your heart is if you would do that to anyone like any normal person so why not yeah. like you know Now I want to ask you one thing, girl to girl. Okay, 
lot of people believe and we are also very curious actresses ke liye dating is a very difficult thing because you just don't go out there and meet people <laughs> you know you can't get on an app you, you can't just go out there and meet people True. because you how difficult is it to just go out and date like a normal person yeah it, it must be so hard uh you know with with me i have just been so busy with my work like all these years i have just only been thinking when am i going to get back home and meet my brother boyfriend agar paal liya hota to fir matlab main kya karti matlab then it would have been too headed kaha only one this thing ki okay my mom travels with me you know like you know so theek hai mummy is home like with me like that is home like where mom is like with you and all that but then okay other than that the only tension you have is ki chalo abhi ghar jayenge meet your brother chill with him kaha i'll have two tensions oh my god i have to meet this one person also you know who so you know, i have to maybe he is in some other this thing and all that so never really thought about it so seriously until this lockdown when i was like okay you know you might like you should but then now there's a time you like you can't actually go out you like okay like you might as well just wait so here also i'm just waiting for god you know i'm like okay you know like you only help me <laughs> <laughs> i know it must be even when you decide okay maybe i should date somebody it is not so easy for actresses because you know one the more i is think, i think it's that also and it's also the mindset that people have like uh, any in this thing like uh, you know it is like oh film industry this and that and uh, which i always say if, even if i wasn't in the industry uh, i always say that you know uh, all kinds of you meet all kinds of people those, those people exist everywhere you know uh, and yeah. everything so so it, it's just you know uh, it is just about uh, being positive and all that and just you should just go on the vibes of the people something in the, yeah. in dating also you know like when people those are the things that oh true, yeah true, true. okay shall we do a quick rapid fire round nothing controversial just fun okay. <laughs> yeah here we go one movie marin you've seen you know um teen number of times zillion times kuch kuch hota hai kuch What do you like about the movie so much? It's so cute. I like the movie so much. Oh my god, it is still like as fresh. कुछ कुछ होता है कभी कुछ ही कभी गम. I have so many. The list is like endless. Trust me. Ah, uh, who has been your forever crush in Bollywood? Uh, crush? You mean like a uh, guy? Yeah, celebrity crush. Celebrity. So in um uh in in uh, guys, it has always been Salman Khan. Like always. Oh. and 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 my childhood like since my childhood like a uh, two actresses i really liked kajol and karishma ah uh, another salman khan fan here <laughs> he is oh. my crush <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> which is your favorite cheat food seafood cheat food cheat food oh che cheat meal cheat food uh, belpuri <laughs> You're my soul sister. I just had bhel puri yesterday. <laughs> oh my god, so lucky! Yeah, I have been waiting to eat bhel puri. <laughs> <laughs> And what is that one thing that Mary Prasada should stop doing? A vice that she should get rid of? Ah, uh, stop doing. Yes. You mean like in terms of any habit or something or what? Yeah, habit, habit. I think uh, not really, not anything because uh, uh, like I I get lazy at times. I think maybe that probably I should change. But then I feel that no, when I'm working, I'm actually a workaholic also. So when uh-huh. I'm not working, like that time I'm lazy. So I don't okay. know whether that is a the thing. But yeah, definitely I think I'm lazy. <laughs> There can be times <laughs> I'm really lazy. I, I'm gonna give you co-stars name. Can you give me one word for each one of them? Oh, it's so difficult, but yeah. Chalo, let's do it. <laughs> first thing that comes to your mind, you know, when you think of them, like Nani. First Costa. Oh, Gopi Chandgaru. Huh? Gopi Chandgaru. Ah, Gopi Chandgaru. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, he's that sweet smile that is always there. Like he's always smiling, no matter whatever. Like uh, you know, he's going through and all that. He's always like that sweet smile he has on his face. I think that's the first Varun? thing. Yeah. Varun Tej, Varun Tej, what is the word Varun? 
i think uh, varun is a very dedicated uh, actor like uh, you know like he he really puts in a lot of hard work with whatever he does and uh, uh, so so yeah i and i saw a very different varun in f2 when we worked together so that is like yeah. complete like change over than what he is in real life and what he uh, you know portrayed on screen so right sharvanand 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 is yeah, so sweet sharva is sharva is also like sharva also can be uh sharva also can be lazy you know like uh, at times like when you know it is just a this thing ki uh, you know i i remember our uh, like uh, this thing uh, our uh, ocd set i was about to say like our <laughs> bahan babdu whole team was like so easy going so cool like very like just chilled out you know i would say I love yeah. that movie Mahan Bhavdu actually. Yeah, no, yeah. Also, I, think, I think it's apt for today's times. So true, so true. Nagashorya. Nagashorya. Yeah. Nagashorya is. Um, I think he's also a very dedicated actor. Like uh, you know, like he 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 wants to uh, do so many things. And one thing that he really like. obviously all of us uh, like you know uh, love our uh, mothers and everything but yeah he is really like you know matlab uh, yeah like i think he's a very like uh, family kind of a person and all that yeah so, and plus so, i think i happened to work with their in their fam- uh, pro- family production house also i think maybe yeah. it was like a lot more yeah different true true and also if you were to get a super power which super power would you want a uh, super power of going anywhere that i want in the sense if i'm face timing someone and then i i would just want to be there like like in person like why to just like face time so that is one super power i want the you know you know how uh, as a kid there was this one show i used to watch shararat in that nani like she used to do this and she would go there i want that power ah uh, the role that you saw in the recent times and you were like i want to do something like that uh i think um, what keerti did in mahanati was something that i really i was really moved by it something that i was like wow like this is something that you know one should be like and do is is there something you would like to say no to like in your mind you know that's something you won't do movie wise you know i think i think i think it depends like no to uh, uh, you know like uh, uh, i think it just depends on the situation on the script and all that like whatever i only say yes to the things that my heart says that okay like i see myself watching this film if yeah. it was someone else if i connect to it then i do it you know i i keep following you and i know how close you are to your brother my brother and i are always fighting i say really? my brother means Misty on my phone. It's truly that, you know. But you, you seem so different, and 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 you guys are like Siamese twins, you know. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys never fight. So we, no, no. We also have our own fights. So uh, in terms of in certain situations, he looks at it in a very practical and like you know this thing, and I am a emotional person, so I am like go with that. So. so both of us like kind of like uh, it is like a 50 50 like uh, you know like we know ki whatever each other's strengths are and then we act uh, accordingly like to the same yeah. high to him if he's there we Can do we fight we have uh, i think he is inside he's like preparing for his script or something he was here he did set up the zoom interview but yeah <laughs> oh okay no but that's all but right but next that's all time. right but yeah next time for yeah. sure but it's it's been so lovely lovely talking to you and 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 i can see with with so much honesty you just opened up to us and and it's like getting to know mehreen on a different level you know this is like <laughs> mehreen unplugged for us but thank you so much for being the lovely yeah. you no i think i think mehreen has always been like this i think uh, <laughs> yeah thank you thank you so much it was a pleasure and uh, wish you all the best for uh, you know this show and then i'm sure that you know this is going to do wonders and i feel really special like being one of the first ones i believe like you know so uh, one of the so first ones nice. yeah, this is like the third or fourth episode yeah 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 so 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 you know i'm like yeah the first five one of the first ones it's the same thing so you know i'm i'm like uh, yeah i'm sure that uh, it you're going to go a long way thank, thank you. you so thank much you. for having me on the show And, and always Thank remember you, lots of love. 
Lots of love and always remember every time your movie releases, I'll be cheering and I'll be promoting and I'll be calling you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I know that has always been the case in my 17 films. So I'm sure it'll happen, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, yes. uh, even like in the time to come. I have no <laughs> doubts about that. <laughs> Shall we? Shall we take a picture? Like, okay. shall we freeze the face with a heart or thumbs or whatever you want to do? Yeah. 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 This is okay. Comment, Comment share, share, like, like subscribe, subscribe to, to Clapboard Production. Hi, this is Vijay Devarkarna. Please subscribe to Clapboard Production. Hi guys, this is Advi Sesh. Subscribe to Clapboard. Hi everybody, this is Rashmi. Subscribe to Clapboard. Hello everyone, I'm Nandini. Please subscribe to Clapboard. Don't forget to subscribe to Clapboard. This is Vishwa. Subscribe to Clapboard. Please to subscribe on Clapboard. This is Nitya Shetty. Subscribe to Clapboard. Please subscribe to uh, Clapboard. Hello, this is uh, Sandeep Pretty Wanda. Please subscribe. Clap. Please subscribe Clapboard. Hi guys, name me Hema Chandra. Please do subscribe to Clapboard. Hi, I'm writer Prasun Kumar Bedwada. Please subscribe to Clapboard Productions. Subscribe to Clapboard Productions.